Hey guys, we're almost at 10,000 subscribers for my new channel, Theories Tales. I love that you guys are enjoying it. Please help me reach 10,000 before the end of the year. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be going over the making of Revenge of the Sith, in particular, when George Lucas is explaining on set what Palpatine says to Dooku before he fights Anakin, and basically explaining two different scenarios as to what would happen in each if Anakin were to win and if Anakin were to lose. Now, the winning scenario we've already gotten, but there's a bit of information on that too because he has to, of course, convince Dooku that everything will be okay. Now, in the book, it explains it a little bit more, like in the novelization of Revenge of the Sith, it explains it a little more in detail. However, the most canon thing that we can get is from George's mouth itself, which comes from the making of Revenge of the Sith. Now, I'm going to read a quote, a piece from the book itself, where Lucas says this, Palpatine has told Dooku, I have somebody who I think will become a great Sith Lord, and I think we can get him to join us, but we need to test him. So we're going to set up a situation where you fight him. If he gets the best of you, then I'll stop the fight and he'll have passed the test. If you get the best of him, then we'll let him go, and we'll let him stew for a few more years until he's ready. But behind it, obviously, is Palpatine's real intention. If Anakin is good enough, Anakin can kill Dooku and become Palpatine's new apprentice, but he didn't tell Dooku that. So in these two scenarios, Palpatine essentially has to sell it to Dooku that, hey, we're going to fight Anakin, you are going to fight Anakin, and it's going to be okay either way. Now in the scenario where Anakin beats him, he was just going to tell Dooku, hey, don't worry, I'll call off the fight. I'll basically tell him that this is not the Jedi way, and you can just continue on and Potentially you'll be arrested, but I'll just help you with your escape. I think that's what would have happened. But the other scenario is actually really interesting to me because I didn't know much about this, that if Anakin actually lost to Dooku, Palpatine would have had him sent off, you know, back to the Jedi Temple, probably called Dooku off from killing him, obviously, and then trained him a little bit more, or had the Jedi train him for a few more years to see where his training would end him up. Would he become powerful enough? Would he finally actualize his potential as the chosen one? And then when he would return, then he would kill Dooku. Now this would change a whole bunch of things because, look, the Clone Wars would be elongated for another few years. Dooku would still be around and he had his own ideas. He wanted to create a massive Sith army. So would he have gone around the galaxy and tried to find different force sensitives or to turn Jedi themselves to the dark side to his cause? And on Anakin's side, Leia and Luke would have been born already, right? So at this point, they're going to be born within these nine months. So would Anakin have been expelled? Would the council have found out about the kids? And would this have just thrust him further into Palpatine's arms even faster? Would Obi-Wan have left the council as well if Anakin was expelled? There's so many different situations and fan fictions that we can make out of this one scenario alone. If Dooku had beat Anakin, in Revenge of the Sith on the Invisible Hand ship. And to that I say, well, I'm gonna do what I do best and that's making those fan fictions what I really enjoy and what started the channel off. But in this video, I wanted to highlight the fact that Lucas was explaining Palpatine's point of view of what would have happened if Anakin beat Dooku and if Dooku beat Anakin. And personally, I think Dooku beating Anakin would have evolved into a really cool storyline where, you know, the Clone Wars would have gone on for a few more years until Anakin was ready. And what would we have seen in these few more years? Would Grievous still be alive? Would he be destroyed? Who would take his place? Would Dooku still be around? If not, who would take his place? Would Maul show up finally eventually? Would Ahsoka return? All of these things kind of really change the timeline quite a bit. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, remember the force will be with you always.